Hey guys, today I got some glitter on my nails. What else is new? Actually, this is new because it's hollow glitter placement, which means that I individually placed every single one of these hexagon shaped loose glitters. It only took me about three hours of my life, which was a lot shorter than the last glitter placement I did because these glitters were a lot larger, so it took less time. In any case, don't do this unless you're really bored. Yes, my nails are yellow. We've been over this. Please watch this video before you comment something really stupid. I start off with the blue holographic nail polish as a base. This is I Love Nail Polish's honor roll. Who's on the honor roll? Comment below. But it really doesn't matter what you use as your base polish color anyways, because we're gonna cover the entire thing up with glitter. I'm using two loose glitters from Twinkled Tea, one pinkish one and one blue. You can use my code SIMPLY for 10% off your order of anything you buy, whether it's hollow glitter or not hollow glitter. But if it's not hollow glitter, then we're not friends. Twinkled Tea sells these glitters in a couple different sizes. This is the largest size they sell, and I think they call it the maxi size. The worst part of doing a glitter placement is cutting up those stupid little hexagons into tiny pieces so you can fit it around the edges of your nail. This is probably why I don't do glitter placements more often. But this is what you're supposed to do to make it look good. Take a pair of cuticle nippers or small scissors. I don't have those. And before you get started, chop a couple hexagons in half. You're gonna need them and it's better to get the worst part over with first. Kinda like doing your homework before you do your nails. Just kidding, do your nails first. Before we put them on the nail, let's decide what kind of pattern we're gonna do. I went with a soccer ball pattern cause it's kinda like summer, even though I've never played soccer. My pink glitters are supposed to be the white parts of the ball and the blue glitters are going to be the black. But as you can see, the hollow just kinda makes it all look rainbow so there's not really any soccer ball pattern left, is there? Blinded by the hollow, soccer is irrelevant. Start by taking out a bottle of clear polish, not top coat, and add one thin stripe down the center of your nail. Only do one stripe at a time because the clear polish will dry quickly. Start at the base of the nail by picking up the loose glitters one by one with the edge of a toothpick. You can lick the edge of the toothpick to make it sticky. Make sure to refer to your pattern template before you put on the wrong color in the wrong place. Ooh, that one fit right to the edge of the nail. That was lucky. Just adjust them by moving them around a little if you need to. Moving on to the second stripe. Add a line of clear polish again and start with your second row. And here's that dreaded part where the pieces of glitter don't fit on your nail anymore. Thank god you cut up all those pieces beforehand, right? Alright, you get the idea, right? Super speed! Why won't you fit? I'm gonna make you fit. Stupid hexagons. What a stupid shape. I don't even know what the shape is anymore. Whatever, next. And around the cuticle area is an equally dreaded part of the glitter placement. Just shove it in there like it was meant to be. Since my nail is actually quite curved as opposed to flat, I gotta push the glitters down with my finger. And there, you're blinded by the hollow. You don't even notice the mistakes around the sides of the nail. Add a nice thick coat of glossy top coat. Oh yeah. Who doesn't find this satisfying, girls? Mmm, look at that shine. Look at those rainbows. So many rainbows, I wanna jump in them. Let's watch that again on my other nail. Oh yeah. Oh, you bring out all the colors of the rainbow in me. Let's add a second glossy top coat. No, but seriously, add a second top coat because it helps to seal in the glitter so they don't accidentally come off in your daily life. And bam, the world just forgot who Kesha was. I think these are definitely appropriate for back to school nails because then you can just tell your gym teacher that you have soccer on your nails so you don't actually need to play with the rest of the class. Oh shit, there's a glitter in my hair. Let's try and fish it out. Yeah, um, why did I even try? Accept the glitter herpes and live with it. Well, that looks pretty sparkly, doesn't it? In the end, you probably didn't really need to make a soccer ball pattern, did you? Because you could have just put random colors of rainbow hollow all over your nails and it wouldn't have mattered. So some of you guys were asking if you could send me stuff, which is kind of creepy, but okay. So I got myself a P.O. box, which means you can send me anything you want at this address in Canada as long as it's legal. So in other words, don't pull a Van Gogh and send me your ear. I don't really want any ransom letters and I definitely prefer not 
not to be sent anthrax. But feel free to send me stuff related to nails, or letters professing your love for Manchi, or just treats for Manchi. Yeah, that's right, you can send anything you want to Manchi at this address and I will be sure to give it to her. If I get enough ridiculous mail, I may or may not make a video unboxing it all. Hint hint, send me stuff. Alright, see you next time, time for some porn.